Look, I get it. If you're a fan of the Saints Row games, you've seen this topic talked about a million times, but I just want to dispel a few rumors that I've seen and really open up the discussion again to see what you guys think because I know you heard me say it before, the Saints Row community is divided. Back to its roots or keeping with the new school stuff. Right off the bat, let me tell you, I don't know if they're going to go back to their roots. Seems likely, but I cannot be sure, so I don't want to bait you here and make you think that I know the answer, because I don't. But I can also tell you that the argument that, oh, since they remastered Saints Row the Third instead of Saints Row 2 or 1, uh, they must be siding with the new school fans, or oh, it's a hint, it's going to be a new school type game, uh, as Saints Row 5 is going to be wacky and it's going to be over the top because they remastered the third game. No, that's bullshit. The big reasons they chose to remaster Saints Row the Third instead of the others are First, it was the highest selling and most recognizable game in the franchise. That doesn't mean the best, but it's the one that is most popular and that most people recognize. This is the key since Volition wants to start wetting your Saints Row appetite before the next one comes out, so they want it to pique your interest with the biggest game. That's all it is. It's not a hint that it's going to be new school stuff. They just wanted to make you interested and remember the Saints Row franchise. Keep it fresh in your mind. Number two is that Saints Row 1 and 2 would be a huge pain in the ass to remaster given the whole lost source code fiasco. I know they found them, but it's still a huge fiasco. And the fact that they run on an older, buggier, sketchier engine... And look, I know they could outsource it to another company to do the remaster for them, like Sparasoft with the third game, but the fact remains that no matter what, the time, resources, and money they would have to invest is way more than it was for Saints Row 3's remaster. They'll probably do it one day, but for now their focus is definitely on the next entry in the franchise. Now, what do I think? Honestly, I truly believe they need this game to be a grand slam home run and they're going to do whatever it takes to get there. What does that mean? It means they're going to for sure have to go and have some original gangster Saints Row gameplay elements and mechanics and go back to its roots in a major capacity because that's what like 90% of the fan base wants. But they also don't want to shun and lose that 10% of the people who like the new school games, so they might have a wacky DLC, some you know over the top mini games, maybe a section of the map is dedicated to craziness, you know, think of uh, Erebus Island and the zombies in Saints Row the Third, that type of thing, or maybe you can consume or take something to make you hallucinate and see aliens or something, you know, like in GTA with that mission, so maybe a drug or alcohol or Saints Flow, you know, something like that to kind of appease both groups because they need this game to make a ton of cash and they're going to try to do everything they can to not push away any group of fans. So if you're an old school fan and you're worried that they might stick with the new school stuff, do not worry. I'm sure they will definitely try to appeal to you and me because that's what I want personally. And if you're a new school fan, you like the third and the fourth game, don't worry. They'll have your back as well. I'm sure of it. But yeah, what made Saints Row great in the beginning was its gangster roots. It's a gritty, realistic-ish game, but with realistic gang elements. And then they kind of started to go over the top to differentiate themselves from GTA, which was fine, and a lot of people liked it. But it's time for them to bring back some of the elements and gameplay stuff that made people fall in love with the franchise originally, when it was on PS2 and the beginning of PS3, and Xbox 360, like that's when people really started to fall in love with the Saints Row franchise. That's what they got to do. And they can definitely try to please both sets of fans. I know they can, and, and that's the way to do it. It would be very smart. And of course, I've already talked about this at length, that they don't want to compete with GTA 6, so they're going to release well before that. So if they can attract new groups of fans, maybe some kids or, or other groups of fans who like the wackier stuff they see in GTA Online and things like that, but also bring back maybe a more mature audience or just people in general who like playing a good gangster sim, which we haven't gotten in a long time, 
you can try to mend both of those worlds together. I've given some pretty good ideas. I want to hear your guys' as well of how they might be able to mend both of the worlds together, new school and old school. And I know some of you just want it to be new school or just want it to be old school, but you know, look at it from Volition's perspective. They need this game to sell well, so they need to try and please as many people as possible with the game and make it fun for as many people as possible. They're going to do whatever they can to make that happen. So maybe if you have any ideas in the comments below of how they can do that, how they can make both groups happy, let me know. I'd love to hear it and I think that's the way to go. I personally want them to go back to their roots, but I think it would be really cool to like let loose and whenever you want to just have a, a slice of wackiness, you just drink a Saints Flow or something. And then you can just go shoot some aliens or go to space or whatever, you know, even just for a little bit. Or if it's a DLC or something, that's a great idea. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.